Today we're gonna look in how you can rename your videos and TV shows using Firebolt. Yes, hello, welcome. Welcome back guys to another tech video with Human and Sutan. Thank you so much for all the support and for all of your services. Do not forget to click that subscribe button and subscribe to Human and Sutan so we can grow our channel even further. So today we are going to look at Filebot so we can rename our movies and TV shows in a nice and neat way. So welcome to Filebot. As it says, it's the ultimate TV and movie renamer. About them, it's the ultimate tool for organizing and renaming your movies, TV shows and anime, as well as fetching subtitles and artwork. It's smart and just works. And that is my opinion of this software and that's why me and Sujen, we are very humbled by Filebot service to the tech world. Uh, so it's uh, just that easy to use. But there is a catch with uh, Filebot. If you want to use this software, you can either purchase one year universal license, so you can use this software for one whole year for six dollars. So this is a nice way of using it if you have a bunch of files that you have to rename, so you cannot start from you have to start from scratch. So this can be a nice way of doing it. But if you want, you can also purchase a lifetime universal license for $48. This is if you want a full-time lifetime commitment to Filebot. So I would recommend you to doing this if you want to rename your files because this is a really easy way of doing it. On to the app itself. Let's open Filebot. And here you can see the nice and clean design. Here you have your original files and then you just match them and you get the new names and you can just rename them that easy. Okay, so let's go in here and right click so we can see edit format. And here you can choose however you want your movies and TV shows to be renamed. So what I mean with that is we have made this format like the folder is called the movie name, for example, Avatar, and then the year that the movie released. That is the folder name. And then we have the movie name, which is the same, the movie title and then the release year. And if it is divided into two or several parts, it will be renamed CD1 and CD2 after the movie name. If it's just one file, then it will not have the name CD1. And here you can make your custom format if you want that. Otherwise, you could use an example and just click on that example. And then we can look at our episode formats. And this is for our TV shows. And we have chosen to make a folder with the TV show name and the year that the TV show first, the first episode released. And then in that folder, we have another folder with the TV show title, the year, and then which season it is. And inside that folder, you have the name, the year, and then the season name, which season it is and which episode it is in that folder. So it's a very structured. Uh, so if you have multiple seasons, you get all those in different folders. And here we have our format. And if you want to use our formats, we're gonna, you can just copy them from the description because we have put them there and just paste them in here. Or if you do not like our format, you can use some examples here. Otherwise you could make your own. Why we use this detailed and structured way of renaming our files is because Cody will simply find the TV show, the season, the year and everything that much easier. So you do not have to check manually and uh, uh, do it manually. So Cody will do it automatically. And uh, Sudan have uh, done a video on uh, the design of Cody, so you can check that out in the card here. And also Sutan will make, uh, in next week he will go through how to make your Cody setup. So be sure to check that video out. So let's show you how to rename movies and TV shows using Filebot. So we have our Justice League Dark Apocalypse from our Blu-ray. So we just drag this to original files. 
and then we're gonna fetch data and we're gonna select it because it's a movie we go to the movie db okay and here we see the new name justice league dark apocalypse war 2020 wow and then you just click rename so here you see a colon red mark windows do not support colon in file names so we cannot have that in the name so we just validate that it erases the colon validate continue one file renamed wow you see the folder here justice league dark apocalypse war 2020 and in that folder we see the movie justice league dark apocalypse war 2020 oh wow that it is that easy so you may think it only works with movies but no it works with movies with an attached crt subtitle file we drag them here we have fetched our data from the movie db here and then you see here justice league versus the fatal five the movie and the srt file and we just click rename two files renamed wow so here you have the folder justice league versus the fatal five 2019 in the folder we have the English subtitle and the movie. Wow, how neat isn't that? And also, as I said, TV shows. We have Arrow here, season seven, and we have Arrow season eight. So now we're gonna show you how it works with episodes in TV shows on two different seasons. So I'm just gonna drag both of the Arrow episodes here, but now we cannot use the TV DB because this is a TV show. So we're going to click on the TV DB, the TV DB, and then you see here Arrow 2012, and then it's going to be here, Season 7 and Season 8. So let's rename these files, two files renamed, wow. And how it works, as I said, we have Arrow 2012, a folder here, click on that, we have Season 7 here, and Season 7 Episode 1. And then we have season 8 and season 8 episode 1. Wow, I'm really amazed with this software. Let's try our last example here, Legends of Tomorrow. We do the same here, we fetch data from the TVDB and then it fetches the data, rename, two files, rename. how easy isn't this? Wow, I'm so amazed. This is Legends of Tomorrow 2016. You got the season 1 here. Season 1, Episode 1, Season 2, Season 2, Episode 1 here. Perfect. And that's how easy it is using Firebot. So I really recommend you to use a one-year plan or a lifetime plan. It's up to you, but you have to use this software if you want to rename your software, your TV shows and movies in a nice and clean design. Wow, using Filebot, I was so amazed. And this is why me and Sudan are using this software. This is a great option. For you out there in the world that wants a clean and structured way of organizing your movies and TV shows. And as I said, Suto will go on next week and show you how to implement these structured file names in Kodi. So you can have a nice library of your movies and TV shows. Thank you so much guys for watching this video. Do not forget to comment this video if you have any questions about Firebot. And if you have any friend out there in the world that doesn't know how to organize their movies and TV shows, share this video with them. And do not forget, you have to press the bell icon if you want to be notified of our recent uploads. And do not forget to like this video, show us some support and subscribe. See you next week or certainly we'll see you next week. Thank you so much. Goodbye and farewell, and remember who this is. Human! And Sutan!